Welcome back to Cine Tech, Streamline Series Episode 2. Emma here, your trusty guide through the thrilling and sometimes terrifying world of cinema. Tonight, we're diving headfirst into the chilling waters of Dead Whisper, a 2024 horror thriller that promises to leave you both haunted and thoughtful. So, grab your popcorn, turn down the lights, and get ready for a whisper of something wicked this way comes. The story follows Elliot Campbell, played by the ever-melancholy Samuel Dunning, a lawyer drowning in grief after the loss of his daughter. A mysterious message beckons him to Black Haven, a desolate island shrouded in unsettling legends. As Elliot delves deeper, the lines between reality and delusion blur. Can he truly reconnect with his daughter, or is something far more sinister at play? Dunning delivers a powerhouse performance. He portrays Elliot's grief with such raw vulnerability, you'll feel every ounce of his despair. The supporting cast is no slouch either. Rob Evan and Tana Sirois add depth and intrigue to the island's inhabitants, making you wonder who to trust, if anyone. Director Connor Susie knows how to craft a good scare. Black Haven's desolate landscapes are masterfully captured, creating a sense of isolation that'll have you checking your own windows. Eerie lighting and unsettling camera work build tension that lingers long after each scene. The script by Susie and Colin Charles Dale is a slow burn, but it works. It balances moments of emotional exploration with genuinely creepy horror sequences. However, some plot elements could have used a bit more fleshing out. There were moments where I felt like they were rushing to the next scare. Dead Whisper tackles the heavy stuff, folks. It explores the complexities of grief, the lengths we might go to for a second chance, and the allure of the supernatural. It'll make you question the nature of reality and leave you pondering the true cost of chasing the impossible. The sound design is fantastic. A hauntingly beautiful score and immersive sound effects create a truly atmospheric experience. Editing keeps the story moving at a steady pace, and the special effects, while subtle, are used effectively to heighten the horror. Fans of classic slow burn horror will find echoes of The Changeling and the others here. But Susie throws in some psychological horror twists that'll remind you of The Shining too. Dead Whisper isn't your typical jump scare fest. It's a film that lingers that gets under your skin. Dunning's performance is award-worthy, and the film's exploration of grief feels genuine. However, the pacing could have been tighter, and some plot points left me wanting more. So, Cine Tech Family, is Dead Whisper worth watching? Absolutely. If you're looking for a thought-provoking horror film with impressive visuals and strong performances, then look no further. Just don't expect a non-stop thrill ride. This one's a slow burn that rewards patient viewers. So dim the lights, grab a friend, and prepare to be whispered into the shadows.